A Huntsville man will spend the rest of his days in a prison cell without the opportunity for parole for a brutal double murder. Stephen Mark Stone was sentenced today for killing his wife and son, a case that made headlines for more than six years. WFF 48 reporter Lindsay Connell joins us now with details from the courtroom. Lindsay, this has been an incredibly long ordeal for the families involved. No doubt, Kim, and we heard from Stone himself today as he received his punishment from the judge. He told the court that he was sorry for the crimes, which the prosecution says were heinous, atrocious and cruel. Mark Stone was downcast today as his court case culminated and he learned the judge's decision on his fate. Life in prison without the possibility of parole. He was convicted of capital murder in February in the 2013 deaths of his wife Krista and son Zachary inside their South Huntsville home. It certainly doesn't uh, feel like a win today, I think, for the defense team any more than it probably feels like a win for the state uh, or the victim's family in that. It's just a difficult situation all the way through. Stone apologized when he stood and spoke in court. I hope that is the truth. I hope it's sincere. It does give me some some comfort to know that that he realizes what he did and that he feels some remorse and, and hopefully it's honest and genuine. Stone's defense team said he was suffering from a psychotic break at the time of the murders due to schizophrenia. He's able to function to the extent that you see him function in court because he's medicated. There was a time when he wasn't. When these crimes happened he wasn't medicated he wasn't even diagnosed at that point there's not going to be a day that goes by where he doesn't think about his wife and his son and the family that he's lost in, in, in addition to them prosecutors weighed in on stone's sentence a life without truly means life without it is going to be death by prison and not lethal injection uh, that's the most important thing when you're trying a uh, a capital case is that that verdict because that verdict seals the deal to know that they are never going to get out of an Alabama prison that they'll spend the rest of their days there that that's the main goal. Mark Stone spared the lives of his two young daughters who were in the family's home at the time of the murders. The girls are now in the care of family members. Krista Stone's mother told us today that her heart ached because of all of this. Mark Stone was her son in law. She added that she's glad he will never get out of prison.